this Idaho four case has gotten so out of control, so out of hand, so many conspiracy theories. It makes my head spin. This video is for entertainment purposes only, not based on fact, just surely based on my opinion, what I feel to be true, my interpretation of the cards, and my intuition. I encourage each and every one of you to do your own research, form your own opinions. After all, I'm just a blonde throwing cards. Okay, before we get into today's video, some of you have asked about Luna. There she is. I got a watcher because I got a candle. Okay. So yes, she's doing well. It's just that I'm on cam I'm not on camera, so you can't see her. She has been perched on the back of my chair. Okay. So don't worry, Luna's doing great. Okay? Anyhow, with today's video, I am experimenting. I have developed a couple versions of the Celtic Cross and adapted them to one. The first one is analyzing the crime. We're going back to bare bones, baby. The second one is profiling the actual perpetrator. And I'm using a tarot deck and um, my true crime and other decks for clarifiers, modifiers, additional information okay we're going to dig into this you will see me referencing my phone because i kind of wanted to save it so i didn't forget it so i could go back and add it to on an index card to my um index of card spreads okay so i am using reversals um you're going to notice a lot of my decks from here on out are going to have reversals in them I will announce ahead of time if I am not using reversals. In that case, if something comes out reversed, you'll see me turn it right side up. But in this, I just felt, um, you know, I keep bouncing back and forth. Reversals, non-reversals, reversals, non-reversals. I do feel reversals add something. It's just that sometimes it just gets a little bit confusing. And I think you all can agree. And I think... Do I need more light? I think I might have to turn on this overhead light. I try not to use this light as much only because there is a buzz that comes from the light. A buzzing sound. Oh well. We'll just have to deal with it, right? Okay. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to continue finish shuffling. I feel like the cards are almost done. Um, I don't feel any more flipping. I think all the cards are upright and reverse. They're supposed to be. I just need to get a good mix. And I feel like one, okay, one more flip, one more mix. And we're cutting the deck, baby. Okay. True crime version of the Celtic Cross. To look at the crime itself, like I said, we're getting back to the bare bones. Right? You know, because like, as I said in the beginning, there are so many theories, so many conspiracies that it's hard to know what we need, what to believe in. And for whatever reason, you know, as I flip this over, under the deck, we do have the Three of Pentacles. Um, that is telling me two or more people. Okay? Or three or more people. Two people would be more like the Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands, whatever. A two. Lovers. But this... Three or more people involved in this. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut the deck. Okay. Okay. Let's see what is 
the crime, the crime itself. I shit you not. We got the Empress in the reverse. This is somebody who's giving birth, who has everything, all the finer things in life, who's got, who is very generous, very nurturing, very luxurious, abundant. This is a loss. And the Empress often shows up as the victims, particularly Katie and Maddie. There you go. Right dead center. And the obstacles to justice in this. What is that? Uh, not receiving or giving proper information, misinformation, or misappropriation of funds. So, it's like, this almost feels like, you know, upright is um, giving to a cause. It is being generous. This is being stingy. This is taking. And it, uh, money, substances. This has to do with something with... This is talking about... Yeah, there was a little bit of a... Uh, it, there, are, there are definitely two motives. But the first one we're going to dig into is Kaylee and um, Maddie. There is something here dealing with money. Somebody felt that they were stolen from. Um, it could be money. It could be something physical. Let's just, let's just keep on going. The, the, the hidden influences... I shit you not. 11.22. In the reverse. I mean, there was some... This is almost like... How do I say this? Something buried within the house? Under the house? In the walls? There's a hidden influence. And the house is... The house is gone. But there was something in the house... That would have pointed to the real perpetrator, whether it was BK or somebody else. There was evidence in the house that is now gone, that is now buried. But going back to even before the house was destroyed, this is disharmony in the house. Um, there is disharmony around that house. That is a hidden influence or aspect. Okay? In the past, which is past influences that led up to this, Queen of Pentacles. Um, that's a mother aspect. That's a female. That is somebody holding the coin. Somebody who held the money. Wasn't there money owed somewhere? Or if this this is something physical, it could be money, it could be D R U G S, but it's something physical as somebody was supposed to be guarding and protecting, taking care of. So somebody was a female was put in charge in handling funds. What does that sound like? I'm just saying, just saying. So what was the motive behind this? I shit you not. Lovers in the reverse. A broken contract. A broken soul contract. Somebody. A broken relationship. Wow. So this puts a whole other spin on things too. There was money involved. And... Somebody who was supposed to be wifey material, maybe. Supposed to be nurturing. What is that physical thing that they're protecting or guarding? Um, taking care of somebody. But that was broken. Motive behind Kaylee and, and Maddie. At least one of them. You know, there could be two motives here between Katie and Maddie. One about money. 
the other one about a broken relationship okay then we have um, what is the, the from there you know this is what happened what was the future projection of this a smoke screen of this crime things being hidden this could be a gag order but there's a lot and there's there are options this could even be evidence future projection of this I'm here is the smoke screen current situation is a lack oh my god a lack of evidence so the future projection is they're trying to put up a smoke screen <clears throat> blow smoke up people's ass um, still that confusion and maybe even hidden evidence I already said that here there was something in that house hidden evidence okay now the perpetrator the actual perpetrator what is their current state where are they now healing a broken heart what does this sound like I'm not gonna say their name but who does this sound like that might have to heal from a broken heart they're healing they're in a place of healing um, you know they were broken broken over this relationship a relationship breaking up and now their current state is they are healing okay external influences um, this is this position is uh, factors or other people who may have influenced who or who may influence the outcome of this case two of cups in the reverse an ex a friend a breakage a friendship an agreement um, a, a broken emotional bond with somebody could have a direct influence on this um, this is almost like going against a an emotional contract we've got broken 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 all over this but an external outside that we're not talking about the victims and we're not talking about the um, the perpetrator this is actually something else an external influence that could have an impact on the outcome of this case this could be somebody scorned maybe by whoever this person who is trying to heal may be in another contract another emotional situation that goes south and that that has a direct influence on this case um this is going to be a, definitely one that's clarified okay the next one um help or resources that might be available um or a fear of missing out on such as like key evidence or expert knowledge let's see resources eight on ones in the reverse the silence quieting down the um or the lack of you know this is things moving forward there is a fear i think this is on prosecution that this case is not moving forward we're going to find out why um a lack of evidence a lack of communication um or some or this could even be on the um defense side but somebody not testifying or a blockage of somebody testifying or somebody trying to block so there is a fear of something very important that is trying that is heading into the case maybe dealing with a witness that somebody's trying to block um 
And then the last position, the, which is typically called the final outcome or the outcome or potential outcome, this card is it's supposed to provide um, insights into the potential resolution of the case and its long-term implications. Okay, um, Ace of Wands. It's a fail. It's a it's a downright failure, and I'm feeling more. They're trying to put up a smoke. There's a smoke screen being put up that is going to fail because there's somebody coming out who's direct to, who is connect directly connected to a perpetrator who feels betrayed in some way. It's funny we have two broken relationships here, all connected to the same person, I believe. This is one of the perpetrators that's involved. We will dig into them in a minute. But this is kind of showing me um, the main focus in this whole thing, you know, was broken contracts. Um, I think a broken monetary contract dealing with Maddie and there's something emotional with Kaylee. Now, with that said, um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to get out a second deck. Hang in there. Okay. A smaller tarot deck for clarification. This is the two of them together, Kaylee and Maddie. And the obstruction of justice is a lack of what is obstructing true justice is evidence um, somebody hoarding evidence uh, money this could actually be greed and a payoff we're gonna find out okay show me the six of Pentacles please what is this six of Pentacles in the reverse we have the six of cups and the high priestess Somebody who is not willing to come forth. Somebody who does not want to talk about what happened or even go through the memories. Um, that's interesting. The witness, she who knows, who knows, doesn't speak about the memories that happened in the past. Okay. So there's something there that is going to block Justice. Real justice. This could even be being hand-fed a false narrative. Okay. What is this Four of Wands? The World and the Seven of Coins. Um, it's taking a hot minute to complete, but the investment in the world, on the world stage, and the world sometimes can be the actual internet. Money being made on the internet within the house. And again, part of this could be a broken contract with an internet deal. Um, what's coming to mind is OnlyFans. Uh, what's the lovers in the reverse? Show me the lovers in the reverse. King of coins in the reverse. Somebody's lost money. So, we've got, I'm seeing a couple motives in here. Okay, a couple motives. Um, King of cups. Somebody who is, who... 
Are we seeing two kings here? Um, to me, it's two perps. Somebody who has had an emotional investment. Somebody else who had a monetary investment who lost money. And somebody who was sometimes the king. Kings are air. Um, communicate. Tried to communicate his emotions. Tried to keep things in control. Um, give me one more card. Give me a card for the King of Cups. Eight of Swords. So this is somebody who was overthinking a situation with and injecting his emotions, emotionally trapped, felt emotionally bound to one of the victims who couldn't handle a breakup or who could not handle a broken contract. That's victim one. Then we have, now could this be related to Xana? I'm not sure. But there is something with OnlyFans and there's something here with, I think OnlyFans. But definitely I feel something internet related that was bringing in an income. And we have a boss man here that was losing income because somebody said, this is not serving me anymore. I'm releasing this. I'm releasing this. I'm letting this go. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm breaking this contract. So, in the future comes the smoke screen and a false narrative and illusion. Why the false narrative? There's the six of coins again upright. Money. Buying myself out of tr trouble. I shit you not. There's a fight. So, there's the other. I think all the motives are here. Because we're indicating a fight here. False narrative about the fight. Oh, there was no fight. There was no fight. Isn't that what we're being told right now? There was no fight. And that's because these people that were involved, and what did I say was at the bottom of that deck before I even started shuffling was the Three of Pentacles. I said three or more people involved in this. Could have been three perps that night. Maybe four. Think about it. What was running? Four people, maybe dressed in black, clad in black, running from... The area of the crime scene to the frat house, allegedly speaking. No, no, that's not allegedly speaking. That was in that footage of the Banfield. The police interrogating the kids that were drinking. It was shown. People running in the background. From the direction. I can't say they were running from that house. They were running from the direction of the house. To the frat house. Okay. So. What do we have so far? I'm seeing three motives. Three. And one of the. And the fourth person. I think was a victim of circumstance. Okay. We're seeing. Three motives. And right before this even start, I even started throwing cards. Three or more people involved. We are seeing somebody engaged in internet activity within that home. And the home gets upset because somebody decides they don't want to do that anymore. And the money that was coming in was now being lost by the boss man. He was losing money. Motive one. Motive two. We have a, not only is this the broken contract between the boss man and the money and the internet deal, we have broken contract, ca karmic contract with the king of cups who seemed to be overthinking things in his head 
really emotionally trapped thinking of scenarios who had his heart broken. Who is now in a place of trying to heal from that. Motive number two. Motive number three was some kind of fight, argument. And the smoke screen originally was to cover up the fight. Who was in a fight? Ethan. Keep that, put a pin in that. And why is this, what, and this is like, the smoke screen was originally, it was supposed to cover up the fight. Because if that is brought out, then it blows the whole Brian Koberger scenario to smithereens. Blows the prosecution's whole fucking case. Boom. So, there's a lot of money being paid out to cover up, to create an illusion of what is really going on, which is somebody with money said, we got to hide the, fight, the fact that there was a fight. we got to cover that up, sweep it under the rug. Okay. Then, you know, we got this broken heart. Somebody healing from that broken heart, right? But I'm, I'm really curious about this Two of Cups. I want to know more about this Two of Cups because that is also somebody breaking their word. So I'm feeling like an emotional detachment. Uh, could it be somebody scorned? We will find out. Show me the Two of Cups in the reverse. Why is it reversed? Okay. Eight of Cups in the reverse. The Empress in the reverse. Got it here twice. And the Moon. Things are not what they seem. Again, we have a situation here. Somebody not being very nurturing. Um, one foot in, one foot out the door. Okay, they want to detach, but they have been held captive, and they've been holding a secret. This could be a witness. This could be that high priestess. You know, she, what is obstructing justice right now? Um, is the fact that the truth, some, the a witness has not spoken about her memories, what she knows happened, what she remembers happened in this house. Over here, this is showing... You know, somebody, one foot in, one foot out. There's the dealing with the victims and hiding something. This is like, so things are not what they seem. Somebody knew about somebody trying to leave um, situations with the Empress. And whoever this is, they're breaking their silence. They're breaking... An emotional contract with somebody. And that is what I feel prosecution is trying to stop. Whoever this is, somebody doesn't want them to talk. The hopes and fears. I'm feeling like, can we stall? we got to stall this as long as we can. Because there is a lack of evidence. That, that came out in the, this reading early. And that is something we, that we know. Okay. Now. This is what investigators are hoping to find. Or they fear missing out on. Such as evidence or expert knowledge. Okay. They are hoping... That testimony does not come out. Uh, it, I'm going back to Thompson. Him kind of saying that, what was that? That he wanted to limit certain testimony or something like that. Um, 
I'm trying to remember exactly what it was in one of the um, court motions. Um, it was a little bit vague, but something about testimony and witnesses. First of all, no surprise witnesses. Second of all, what can they testify about? And if that's the, what the motive is, I find that really not constitutional because that in, in, inhibits true justice. If Brian Koberger is innocent, it inhibits um, exoneration. He could be found guilty, or excuse me, not guilty, by a jury of his peers or hung jury over and over that it, he gets off, he gets set free, but he has that cloud over him the rest of his life, right? But if he's exonerated and cleared, then he doesn't necessarily have that. That People say that it's put out there in public, oh, we got the wrong person. And um, I think that that's partly of what this boils down to. They don't want an exoneration, um, the prosecution, because it makes them look bad. It's like, Okay, we didn't do our job. We were sloppy. Yeah, we tried to set this guy up just to satisfy the public. Because the pe we are afraid of the people who really did this because their influential families have a lot of money, a lot of power, and we had to go along with the flow and with the narrative that they wanted. Can you see prosecution saying that? I can't. But if they push the narrative that he did it, but a jury finds him not guilty, the prosecution could say, we had our guy. We know he did it, but um, we have to let him go because the jury found him not guilty. So it felt that we didn't have enough evidence. We knew he did it, but we don't have the evidence to prove it to back it up and it's it's like um, so instead of like oh we totally fucked this up and didn't do our job it's more of there was a lack of evidence because Koberger did a really good job in covering his tracks that's going to be the narrative that's going to be the cloud hanging over his head because there will always be people say, he did it, he did it, he did it. Then there's going to be the other one saying, no, he didn't, and he's innocent, he's innocent, he's innocent. Um, I'm on Team Koberger only because I haven't seen physical or enough evidence to convince me otherwise. And my readings, you know, are showing me that he didn't do it. Can, it be, can my interpretation be wrong? Absolutely. I can be seeing what I want to see. However, I feel that I'm pretty objective at reading the energy as it is. And if Brian Koberger was guilty, I wouldn't be seeing these smoke screams. I wouldn't be seeing somebody who really doesn't want to talk about what they did see. I wouldn't be seeing the perpetrators healing from a broken heart. I wouldn't be seeing breakups and broken relationships. I wouldn't be seeing somebody losing money in the position of the motivation of the crime. I'd be seeing other energy. You know, stalking. Um, randomness. Whatever. I would not be seeing this energy if he was the one. So, you, so that's why I feel the way that I feel and then the final outcome which is more like um, the insight into potential resolution of the crime or of the case and its long-term implications there's no victory in this um, and what I'm see seeing here is that the case against Koberger totally taking a turn going south okay in the beginning if you rewind the clock you know even I was thought from 
looking at news outlets, when I first saw this case, this is before I got into true crime. I heard about this case and I thought, oh, he's guilty, guilty, guilty. And even when in the beginning, everything, I pulled some cards and I think back on him, you know, he wasn't it. Um, but before I started doing readings, I thought, true, I thought that he was guilty just what, what by what the media was saying about the car and everything else and then I think back to the reading that I did why did he do this it wasn't necessarily why to Koberger I remember reading about it doing a reading not before I really dove headfirst into true crime and it was the way I asked the questions open-ended maybe not why Koberger did it but why the perpetrator did it because that reading kind of corresponds a little bit. Somebody who knew and had a connection with the victims and butt hurt, stuff like that. I think I saw some drugs in there. But I think back about it. I wasn't focused. I was focused on why this crime was done. And it wasn't necessarily he did it or didn't do it okay it was why it happened and I'm um, now I'm seeing some repeated themes and I'm able to modify the character cross to get more specifics now this to me like I said is kind of indicating a failure of some sort the prosecution's case going south but um Let's just do prosecution's outcome on this. Five of Swords in the reverse. The bullying stops. That is a failure. That is, uh, you know, that is them. This is winning at all costs. This is giving up. This is unexposed. So, they're failing. You gave me color burgers. Wow. Two of Wands. Okay. Start planning and decisions. Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands. He's going to have decisions to be faced. If he gets off, he's going to have to worry about his own sleep. I, got, I just got to say this because I feel this is very important because I asked about Koberger. These three cards came out. He's going to have a choice and decision at crossroads in life. As he starts planning, there fi it feels like whoever was in somebody involved in this, one of the perpetrators, is going to come after him. He may try to come after him. He may have some anxiety and worry about is he or, or somebody going to be angry and try to take him out. If he, whether he's exonerated or found not guilty. So that is something that has a pot implications, long term implications or the resolution. He's, I think he's going to walk. The prosecution fails. He's going to walk. He's going to have to decisions to make. What is he going to do with his life? Meanwhile, he's going to have to look over his shoulder because somebody is going to say, well, somebody who is convinced, convinced that he did it, or perhaps Koberger has knowledge, and they says, well, he's been found innocent. we got to silence him so he doesn't talk. Um, makes me kind of wonder if Koberger is going to stop spill beans. I'm kind of leaning in that direction. Okay. That he might spill some knowledge implementing some people and he might have a target on his back. Okay. I know some of you have asked is Koberger's life in danger? Not yet. If he, When he's freed it could be. 
It could be. Okay. That was interesting. I like that. I think... Yep, I like that. Now, I thought I was going to have to do two spreads for the multiple um, motives. I think it covered all, all the victims. That was very specific. I... Uh, I'm just totally blown away. Next. And at the end of this, I will bring out... In fact, let's do that now. Let's get some oracles about the crime itself. Then, we are going to analyze the real perpetrator. Or perpetrators. Um, organizer um, who helped pull this off. Um, I might have to do it on the emotional person, but we'll see. Um, I might be surprised, and when I it's going to be another Celtic Cross spread, but the positions mean something different. Okay, so. When I get to that, we'll see if all the perpetrators... I'm feeling there's going to be two energies in that reading. That's just what I'm, my gut is telling me. Because um, there's one that was monetarily motivated and there was another one that was emotionally. Okay. Um, if only one comes out, then I'll pull a second spread for the other. Because I do feel... But, and overall, I'm going to go, we'll just say um, the perpetrator, the main target. And we'll see, who, and hopefully that'll bring out who the main target is, too, was as well. And who was, okay, that's, we've got targets. Here, this is what happened, this is what needs to happen. But we have these other situations, let's take them all out at once. That's what I feel happened, um, and they coordinated it. If there was a couple different motives. Um, I didn't see the rejection motive. As far as Dirty South. Possibly being rejected by Xana. I didn't see that. But I did see the fight. Unless the fight was over Xana. I don't know what the fight between Dirty South was. And um, Ethan. Everything I've heard was hearsay. Um, okay. We've got abuse. Abuse of what? That could be even the fight. Oh, shit. Accident. Hidden. Karma time. Okay, you know what I'm thinking of? I still got to do a reading on him. And I apologize if I don't remember his name. And don't come after me for not remembering his name. Because my short-term memory and stuff, some of my memory is shit after having a stroke. Okay? But the one dude that drowned... It was part of a hazing, or they said an accidental drowning. But the hidden thing behind it was an abuse of power that create that caused this drowning accident. Karma, somebody was that what? O M G. That's. Shit! Shit! I sh that's what Maddie told um Adam. Mystery. The secret around an accident. Fuck! There you go, guys. My deck doesn't lie. And I'm probably going to get a second version of this. 
and add extra cards to it and make it um, the playing card size. I'm just saying. That's something I'm thinking about. If you already ordered this one, this is what you'll get and let you say, I want the other deck. I'm just putting that out there as well. There you go. There's Maddie. Wow. There you fucking go. That's what triggered the whole chain of events where Window of Opportunity organized. Let's take them all out. We have grievances between with Maddie. And you know I said three or more? Maybe three motives. Right there with what Maddie told Adam. Right there with the broken hearted guy and money issues or the fight. It's a fight over money. Just saying. See so if you get any information about any other motives here. Oh, this is getting interesting. This is getting fucking good. Anything else? Digital footprint. Justice. You know what I get? The truth lies within digital media. Pictures, photos. This is making making me go back to Koberger, Cy Ray. And there's somebody who vanished. Who vanished? Who disappeared? Somebody disappeared. Out of fear. Somebody is playing Houdini out of fear. And, they're ha and there's some kind of hope. Having hope. Let's get under the deck. Oh my god, the perpetrator. I shit you not! Cover up! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! The perpetrator left a digital footprint. And justice is being covered up. The church helps some, allegedly speaking, helps somebody disappear, hiding somebody. Ghosts from the past. Somebody is fearful that this ghost from the past is going to come back and haunt them, having hope that the evidence stays, having hope that the evidence stays hidden. Foolish and grandparents, family generations, like the family tree. Somebody's family is hoping that the ev I'm getting two sides. Somebody's hoping that perpetrator was foolish enough that evidence is going to pop up. But there's the flip side. You know, a certain family is hoping that the evidence stays hidden because there is a fear of the ghost of the past, of the evidence popping up. The rainbow is also telling me it will. And it's going to shock. Oh my God. There's something else connected to this. Okay. Military. Shock. Victim.
a shock about a military person involving the victims. And we've got the cover up here. I don't think I need to say where that is going, where I'm leading with that. I'm going to leave you, the viewers, to trust your intuition. Well, what does that say? Okay? What does that say? All I gotta say is holy shit. You know, this is we're getting real here. We're getting real. Okay. Now, and I apologize if this is a longer video, but I think it's well worth it. I had a feeling it was gonna be a long one because I'm digging. I am fucking digging on this. I'm going to use these spreads a lot. I'm really liking how that one how that one worked out. I got a conspiracy one, but I'm feeling like it's for conspiracy theories. But I'm not feeling that one. I was inspired. I was going to use it, but I was inspired this morning. Rewrite the Celtic Cross for these scenarios. And I'm like, oh my God, that's genius. And I thought about it. The questions. Okay, like, you know, like, the, what is the center? The center, you know, is, like, in the crime. The crime itself. Describe the crime. In this one, the center is going to be the perpetrator at their core. The core person. I thought I had one of my true crime cards stuck in here. Well, if it is, it'll come out. But... It just I'm almost ready. Okay. Guys ready? The real perpetrator. This is about the real person or people that um, committed this crime. Okay? Okay. Center card. This is the core of the person. I shit you not you saw me shuffle and it's in the reverse somebody who is broken over a relationship boom core this person feels divided core this person feels rejected now there's a rejection aspect core of the this person's core Broken contract. Okay. What is the um, next card? What obstacles or challenges is this person facing over this? Weak, out of control. So, this person struggles with maintaining control. Strength is that inner strength, that resistance, that holding back, gaining my composure. This is losing my shit. This person has an issue. Earlier, this is at least one of the perpetrators, the one that's strongest, and I'm feeling all the emotional shit. Whether this is dealing with Kaylee or this is dealing with Xana and Ethan or Maddie. But there is somebody who lost their shit. Who could not show restraint. This person has a history of not being able to show restraint. Maybe even a history of violence. Feeling weak feel, and 
feeling like they have to overcompensate. Okay. Then, this is past events or traumas that shape the perpetrator's motivations and actions. There's our three of pentacles, but it's in the reverse. Lack of cooperation. Boom. Abandoning the plan. Lack of cooperation. Um, something didn't go their way. They were trying to work something out with somebody. And this could be an offer or offer. I offered to work with them. I offered to try to work things out. And they rejected that offer. They don't want to work with me. They don't want to work with me. They don't want to cooperate with the plan. Yeah. So this is what led up to what happened. Um, then over here, what we have are hidden elements of this person's past. Revealing secrets or understanding or, or undisclosed actions. Nine of Pentacles. This was somebody who was not single in the past. You know, they were resisting. This is a resistance of being single on your own. Cultivating your own foundations, your own garden. Feeling abundant. This is somebody who was not feeling abundant. This is somebody who did not do well with single life. Or did not know how to act as a single person. So, we have what led up to this. Somebody didn't want to work with a perpetrator. There was a broken commitment, a broken contract. This person was struggling to keep their composure because they didn't do well with being single. That is a hidden aspect that is not talked about. You know, you might look at this person now and say, what do you mean they didn't do well? What do you mean that they're not meant to be single? This is something that's hidden. You know, that really they don't do well they need to be in some sort of committed contract or relationship. Okay. Then we have the motivations. Right up top here. You know, this is the examines what drives the perpetrator. This is emotional, psychological motives. Sex. I can't. I can't make that up. Passion. Sex. Excitement. Ideas. Now, which kind of leads me to. Are we talking about a couple perpetrators? Think about the. Fans only or only fans. The internet shit. What has been speculated. That maybe a couple people want it out of. Think about that for a minute. But this is somebody that was also thinking with their other. If it's a masculine. If it's a masculine was thinking with the wrong head. Let me just put that out there honey. Let me put that out there. Um, next moves. Okay. This is like the card that predicts likely future actions. Um, this could be like um, what are they likely to do next? Or actions that the perpetrator would take. Eight of Wands. Holy I shit you not. Remember in the crime itself, the hopes and the fears. This was in reverse. We're going to hide my 
movements. We gotta hide my um, any kind of communications. <coughs> this was the communications. This was the movements. Very swift, very fast acting. The fears of the actions really coming out. The truth coming out. Somebody trying to block this from coming out. This will be a clarifying. Okay. This can also be somebody on the run taking off air travel. Just saying. This is some kind of swift change. This is somebody who made a swift change in their life after this happened. Okay, so what is the emotional state of this person? Their current this is their current emotional state. Temperance balanced. This is also, you know, things shit happened. This is a card of healing. And it and I, I'm seeing the death card in my mind's eye because the card that comes right before this is number 13, the death card. Healing from what happened from the breakup and the demise. Their mental state right now is pretty calm. They're maintaining balance. They're healing. And I don't think that they believe that they're going to get caught. They're hoping they don't. They think that everything is buried, remember? This in the last spread being in the reverse, up here in the hopes and fears. Or the motivations or what is available, the resources. This is the resources being hidden, the text, is, text messages and stuff being hidden. This is, you know, messages, information flying. But right now, they're very calm. Okay. Then we have any kind of current influences right now. External factors that might be affecting the perpetrators, such as social environments or relationships. Um, no options, lack of options, not even looking. Um, environment is very clear. Got himself out of this. You know, this showed up right here in the future with the smoke screen. This is after the cloud is lifted, the smoke is lifted. Uh, that might be affecting things, the environment. This is clarity coming. Makes me think something's going to come out about this person. Um, and the mental state of this person. Losing his shit. This here is being quiet, being silent. This is holding on, being very guarded. This is somebody who let their guard down. Mental state. This is somebody. This per. This is somebody here who feels they are in the clear. This person feels they are in the clear, so they've let their guard down. Okay, I'm saying this is what's coming. Their guard is down. There's clarity in the environment. In fact, literally, they think they're in the clear. They're in a place of peace and healing. Literally, they think they got away with it. Okay? With their part, at least. Whoever this is talking about. And whoever this is would lead to the bigger picture of the rest of the story. I think this, is, this person, this particular perpetrator... Holds the key that would unravel everything. This is just their own personal investment. Their own involvement and why they were involved. And what is their status, their state. Okay. Then, this last one is about insights into the eventual resolution of the situation. Um, involving the unalivings or a return. Holy shit. 
wherever they fled, they're going to have to return. They're going to have to return to the environment, something being cleared up. Wow, this is really wild. This is somebody who is letting go the, of the emotional attachment as well. So we have this person who is healing, no longer emotionally attached to any of the victims. But I'm also seeing with an emotional detachment, somebody is going to have to return. It's like the past is going to get dredged up again. Okay, let's do clarifying on this. Okay. I'm feel, I don't feel, I feel like more like this Eight of Wands. This stuff is very clear, cut and dry to me. This stuff I want to uh, kind of dive into a little bit more. Show me the Eight of Wands, please. Ace of Swords. Holy shit! You see this? That's truth. Somebody's tongue is gonna wag. Ah, shit you not. Somebody's tongue is gonna wag. There were at least two perpetrators. I've said that all along. Two of Swords. Duality. And I'm seeing that as two weapons. Two knives. Oh, the Ace of Swords is a three. Shit. Holy fuck. Okay. That's what this is. The truth is going to come out about what went on that night, and I'm seeing, I'm seeing three. I keep seeing three. I'm seeing three. I saw a couple threes in the last spread. There's threes. Three perps. Okay. Three weapons, and the, whoever was sitting on the fence about whether they were going to tell the truth or not. You know, they took off to try to escape this. This is this Eight of Wands. It's also somebody trying to run from the truth. Run from what happened. Truth's coming out. I'm wondering if they're going to return because of a guilty conscience. I'm curious. Um, I really want to know about this here. Five of coins, eight of swords. The truth is going to come out. Somebody's going to feel all alone. Clarity's going to come out and I think somebody else is going to go to prison. Um... But somebody feels trapped in their mind. They feel isolated. Okay, let's keep this in. The, um, this is external influences, right? No money coming in, um, or pay up, or somebody. Oh shit! Somebody not paying. It's like whoever this perpetrator is, when, and I feel this is connected to the big boss. Money getting cut off. Family. Getting cut off from the family. It's like Queen of Wands in the reverse. Holy shit, this is a witness. 
I said the external influences, right? What could possibly be in externally influencing or affecting the situation? The environment, right? Their relationships. Clarity coming. The environment is going to be indicative of capture. Somebody, the environment is about somebody in the environment. And I think this is one of the witnesses who was receiving money. Family staying happy. But I think that money got cut, gets cut off. And feeling backed into a corner. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if this person is being threatened for be implicated as well. But the clarity about a witness is coming out. And whoever is paying money to this perpetrator who had their own motives but who helped pull this all off it's being left out in the cold right now because of a witness coming forth it's like oh we're cutting you off we're not no more no more and they feel I think the current status is being abandoned by somebody that was paying their bills I'm just saying They're losing their shit again. Not being able to hold on. Show me this four of pentacles in the reverse for their mental state. These came out in the reverse. The knight of coins and the knight of coins and the ten of coins in the reverse. A dead stop to everything. And, you know, they're trying to hold on, but there's a lack of money, a lack of abundance. Their mental state is all about the coin right now. About the coin. Everything coming to a dead stop because there is some, but there is a witness in the environment that could blow the lid off of this person. And whoever's paying his bills had honcho. I said, you know, this person's going to be key to the big person. Oh my God. I just saw it. You know, they're going to come back. Remember these two? An agreement to tell the truth. It's like I'm hearing plea bargain. I'm hearing plea bargain. That's what I'm getting with this person. And this is somebody who's emotionally who's emotionally entangled in all this, who got their butt hurt. They thought they left the, everything behind, but there's going to be a plea bargain because somebody else in the environment is abandoning them. Leaving them to fend for themselves, which they don't know how to. They don't know how to fucking fend for themselves. They see their whole future crumbling and stopping. So there's going to be a plea bargain. And folks, that is where I am dropping the mic.